up, YouTube? It's your boy, GE here, doing a special unboxing today. Uh, originally, I was just going to put this on my Patreon exclusive, but since I wanted to show how appreciative I am of all my supporters, I thought I would let everybody on YouTube see this, and also because I think it will be really, like, informative for a lot of beginners, just on, like, the type of gear that I'm interested in using and that you can check out for yourself, too, because I think this is really... For the price, some of the best equipment. I did a lot of research, but we're gonna find out. And then what I'm gonna do is, after we do the unboxing, I'll do a, a mic test with everything that we're looking at today. And I'll put that on my Patreon exclusively. So if you wanna check that out, you can go ahead, oh my god, and uh, click on the links in the descriptions to find out everything you need to know about my Patreon. And... Yeah, I'm not sure if this one, I got a, I got another box here. I have an audio interface and a new mic, and it cost me so much money, guys. I'm so excited, and I feel very blessed that I was able to make these purchases, <laughs> thanks to the support of you guys. And actually, um, I've only been on Patreon for about three months, I think. So, the amount of... Uh, yeah. pledges that I've got didn't pay for all of this so what I did was I took out like a monthly payment so if you want to support the payment of these expensive things to make my music better every little bit helps guys so thanks again Pee -pee. so this is the interface Daddy. that must mean that's the mic Daddy. it's called the uh, RME babyface RME makes some of the best preamps in the industry according to a lot of artists that I respect and um, the babyface is like good for two reasons because it has really good professional level quality but also because it's extremely portable which is great for someone like me with a home studio where I kind of have to move it around between my computer and the booth and all that stuff so oh, here get a close-up on this least so that's the oh, interface thank itself you, thank you as you can see mm. it's very very compact DJ Kira <laughs> All it has is two buttons and a little dial to bring everything in. And the dial is, it feels really good. It's like, uh, okay, sorry, Kira. Go. go ahead and tell them what you think, Kira. What do you think? <laughs> On the side, we got one um, headphone jack and one for instruments. And then in here, you just connect this cable here. And it comes out to a possible eight inputs. All these can connect to mics, different type of mics and instruments. Yeah. So. Even though it looks like it can't do a whole lot because it's so small, not only does it have more inputs than what I'm using now, but the preamps is what really sold me because the preamps is something you really have to do a lot of research on because that's what's powering your microphones. If you have a really expensive microphone with a crappy preamp, it might as well just be a cheap microphone. Okay, Kira. <laughs> next, next. So that's it. And also it comes in this really cool storage slash carrying case so I can take good care of it, which sure. is important for me. All right. And... Kira has a new friend. <laughs> okay, next one, Kira. More? More. Okay, give me a hug first. Uh -huh. um, you kidding me? Okay. It's not even your present, Kira. <laughs> Kira, so this you're, one, you're getting played. I'm even more excited about the microphone. And uh, something interesting about this mic is that it doesn't really look that uh, flashy or anything. Like the kind of cheap $100 microphone that I've been using. It's like gold-plated has a really uh, loud like green accents on it. This mic's just very bland looking, but something that I'm really stressing this time around in my shopping spree that I had is quality over appearance. And the quality of sound that these mics deliver. Open. Can't be matched, man. I'm so excited. <laughs> okay, here we go. So it comes in this awesome really hard metal suitcase type of thing. As you can see, it's gonna be a sure. This is the logo for sure. Or apparently you can't see. <laughs> you wanna open it? Open? Okay, let's open it. Wow. Look at that. This thing's never getting damaged. I don't know what this is. So, the mic is the Shure KSM 32. Tried and true, very proven. And it's a gigantic step up from my very budget microphone. 
So once again, thanks guys. This is important too for the beginners out there that don't don't know what this is. It's a shock mount. So when you have your mic mounted on your stand, if you like, I don't know, take a step or something, the vibrations through the floor will go up the mount. And if you have a really expensive microphone, it will pick it up. But if you have something like this, it neutralizes all the movements on the mic and it just sits there and doesn't pick up any of that vibration. Inexpensive. What, yeah, whatever. I said what's wrong apparently. Got a nice velvet case. Man, this case, this case is very impressive. I wasn't expecting such a cool briefcase. Yeah. And here's the excuse, mic excuse itself. Excuse me, Kira. Yeah. Kira. Get that bad boy. So as you can see, nothing really flashy about it. Almost boring looking. It feels very solid in my hand. Keys. Keys, yes, keys oh, you for can the even suitcase. Lock this case? That's dope, man. Okay, so <laughs> I'm gonna crush your hand here. So that's all I got for you guys. Basically, I just wanted to show you what my music. Here, hold this gear. Actually, don't hold this. No, this do not hold that. <laughs> here, come. You wanna hold the keys? Okay. okay, so I just wanted to show you guys what is possible, like, it blows my mind that I can make my hobby, which is making music and my passion, into something that you guys can support and allow me to take it to the next level with these really awesome pieces of equipment. I have a lot of plans for this year, and this is going to make everything that I do so much better, and I'm so grateful for you guys, and like I said, um... I kind of, <laughs> kind of uh, splurged a little bit on these things. I didn't have the funds yet from Patreon, but I was really amazed. Like the first month of Patreon, I got over a hundred dollars in pledges, which blew my mind. I was expecting like maybe fifty dollars a month tops. Three digits was crazy to me. I was like, all right, this isn't sustainable. The second month, it not only was it sustainable, it went up. The third month, now we're almost at two hundred dollars a month, and I was like, you know what? Okay, go. Go shopping. Okay, bye. <laughs> bye. What are you going to buy? <laughs> so, so, what I did basically was I wanted to show my faith in you guys and I want to start putting out quality content as soon as possible. So, I just took out a monthly payment on all this expensive gear and basically the Patreon payments every month will be paying for these things for about half a year. So, if you guys want to show some support to your boy, check out my Patreon. It'll be going right towards this stuff so I can uh, break even and I'm just excited to hop in the booth and get going if you're a Patreon supporter you're gonna be seeing my mic review and my interface review of the baby face wherever that went but if you are on YouTube I'll be seeing you soon and you'll be hearing this gear in my next song I'm so excited hopefully you can hear a big difference until then y'all it's been your boy G Yee and I'm out peace